Welcome to another one of the Look Smarter Than You Are with Sbase Tech Reference series. Today we're going to be talking about the member at function and I'm Glenn Schwartzberg and I will be your host. So why do we need the at member at function? It's a fairly new function that was added in 11.1.2.3. Prior to this function, it was very difficult to find members relative to a selected member. For example, getting the first child or the last child. It's very easy to do that in MDX, but it's been very hard to do it with the CalScript language. So what is the syntax for this? Well, it's at member at, a member list, and a member index. So the member name or the member list is a member list or a functions that returns a member list. It's not a single member, but a list of members that you're going to be using for finding what you want. And then you have the member index, and this is a non-zero integer. A positive number starts from the beginning of the list, a negative number from the end of the list. The member index cannot be zero and it can't be out of the range. So if I have 12 members, I can't use an index of 13. If I do either one of those things, either a zero or out of range, I will get an error in my function. So let's look at some examples from Sample Basic. In our case, we're going to be using the year dimension. Specifically, we're going to be using quarter one. If I do a member at the children of quarter one, one, so a positive number, I'm going to get back Jan. If I do the children of quarter one minus one, I'm going to get the last member, so I'm going to get back Mar. So let's look at a real world example. In my case, I have a client that has a time dimension down to a day level. They wanted to see the change in customer count from the last day of the period to the first day of the period. And they wanted the results to be placed in the first day of that period. So this whole thing has a larger fixed statement around it that's fixing on level zero of all of the dimensions, including the time dimension. And for them, the calculation had to occur for every single period. So I created a member called Called customer change and I'm storing the data in customer change and I'm using the member at function in a cross-dimensional operator to put it into the first day of the period. It's equal to my customer count and again it's the last day of the period so you see a minus one and I'm subtracting from that the customer count using the member at function from the first day of the period. So I'm getting the last day minus the first day, and this is all being stored in the first day of the period. So you can see that the member at function can give you a lot of flexibility and versatility in things that we were having a hard time doing before. It makes our life so much better.